person I'm touching right now. Only the person I'm touching right now. I'm counting three, eyes open. One, two, and three, eyes open. What was your name again? Carrie. Carrie. Carrie, do you believe you're hypnotized right now? No. No? Do me a favor. If you can stay, if you can keep your eyes open for a count of 10, I'll give you 20 bucks. How's that sound? Okay? You just find a spot, focus on it, and let me know when you're ready, and I'll start counting. Go. All right, 10, 9, 8, 7, 5, 4, three. 1, 2, 3, eyes open. <laughs> Didn't work out so good for you that time. 40 bucks. You know what? Let's just cut to the chase. I got like five minutes left. 100 bucks if you can keep your eyes open for 10 seconds, all right? Tell me when you're ready. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Whew, perfect. Our perception is our reality. She has no idea what hypnosis feels like. So she doesn't think she's hypnotized. We allow our perceptions to interfere with our business all the time. I don't think it's any secret that this is a high rejection business. And sometimes it feels like you're doing a lot of work but not making any progress. So don't allow your perceptions to shape your reality. Know your numbers. 10, 5, 4, 3, 1. Numbers I just pull, up, pull out of the air, but they're good for this demonstration, for this uh, exercise. 10. It may take you 10 calls before you get one person to agree to have a meeting with you. For every five people that agree to have a meeting with you, only four are going to show up. One person's just going to flake on you and not show up, or they'll cancel at the last minute. Of those four people that show up, three will actually complete, allow you to complete your presentation. Maybe the phone rings and the school says, Johnny's sick, you've got to come to the school and pick Johnny up. Or they're just like, you know what, I'm not interested. Let's just wrap this up now and you can get out of my house. So three people will let you finish. Of those three people, one will actually sign an app with you. I'm not saying these are hard and fast numbers that are true for everybody. I'm saying you need to know your numbers to that level of detail. So that when it feels like all you're getting is no, take me off your list, not interested, or they just hang up. You know how many more calls you got to get to get from no to get to a yes. It's going to keep you motivated. If you know what those numbers are, if you know them to that detail, you write your own paychecks. You know exactly how many meetings you got to have to hit your goal for the end of the year. That's what this is all about. Building your book of business, staying focused on your goals. Know your numbers to that level of detail. If you at least know it takes me 10 people to get one yes, that's great. Take it as far as you can. Get it down to the granular detail. It keeps you motivated. Those days where it's like, man, everybody keeps saying no. Those of you early in the business, it may take you 20 or 30 calls. I've only made 18 calls today. I know on average two more calls and someone's going to say yes. Just know your numbers to that level of detail.